Today we're going to learn about the viola, which actually consists of the bow and the actual viola, which is entirely made out of wood. There are many different parts to the viola, which I'll describe to you today. You have the chin rest, which is where you put your chin, also made of wood. The tailpiece, which holds all four strings to the bridge. Next we have the bridge, which holds the strings up. And these two parts here are called the F-holes, which are basically the speaker for the viola. That's where all the sound comes out. And I just told you, we have four strings on the viola, C, G, D, and A. Then we have the fingerboard, this black piece here. We have the nut, which is right here, also black. Oh, and I forgot, we have the fine tuner here, which is on my instrument, I just have on the A string. So for more exact tuning, we use the fine tuner. Some of you might have all four fine tuners. And then we have, of course, the pegs. which is where you put the string in. There's a little hole in each peg. When you put a new string on your instrument, that's where you put the string and then wind it in. And then we have a very beautiful part of the viola, which is the scroll here. When you store the instrument, you want to always make sure that it's not in an environment that's too cold or too hot. And it's always a very good idea to put it in its case. After, your, after you've practiced or rehearsed. So I always put the bow first in the case. Then I take the shoulder rest off so it fits in. Tie it up. And I usually wipe the strings off because there's usually some rosin there. And I put it away. Oh, and one more thing. Make sure you never touch the strings with your fingers. If you do, some oil will get onto the string, which then goes onto the bow hair, which is never a good idea. Makes the bow hair too slippery. So that's an introduction to the viola.